Hello and welcome to the Infinity TV software installation and Windows Media Center setup. Before we get started, please make sure your Infinity TV is installed and set up prior to installing the software. Let's begin by installing the Infinity TV software. Once your PC has booted up, we'll go ahead and select the web browser of your choice. Move up to the address box, and we're going to type in www.seatoncorp.com. This will take you to our company website. Once it loads, we're going to go ahead and click on support. We're going to select the Infinity TV device, followed by installation and downloads. You'll notice we have two different versions of installation software, one for Windows 7 and one for Windows 8 Pro, 64-bit only. Go ahead and click Run to launch the software. And welcome to the Setup Wizard. Go ahead and click Next to move forward. You'll notice the Network Tuner Wizard is not installed by default. This is considered an advanced option and is not covered in this video. Go ahead and click Next to move on. And click Install to start the installation. This can take some time, so we'll be back in just a moment. All right, it is completed successfully. We're going to go ahead and deselect the launch diagnostics at this time. And click Finish. And now we're going to need to click Yes to restart the system uh, to take all the configurations in place. Once that's complete, we'll move on to the next part of the video. Windows Media Center first time setup. Once Windows Media Center is open, we're going to go ahead and move to the Extras Gallery, and we're going to start the Digital Cable Advisor tool. Go ahead and select the tool. This is a uh, software program designed by Microsoft to analyze your system and determine whether it can meet cable requirements. Go ahead and click Next. Terms of service, go ahead and select I agree, click next, and we're going to go ahead and analyze the system, start the test, and it's done, go ahead and click next. All right, your system meets the minimum requirements, so we're going to click update system settings. This can take a few moments. If you did not pass a digital cable advisor, we suggest that you open a support ticket uh, by going to the support tab on our website. Congratulations, digital cable advisor is completed successfully. Go ahead and click done. All right, now we're gonna move back out to the main media center screen. Go up to TV and over to Live TV Setup. We're going to go ahead and click Yes, use the United States region. Click Next. You're going to enter your zip code. Our zip code here is 98033. Click Next. Program Guide Terms of Service, I agree. And click Next. It's going to download some TV setup data from Microsoft. This will take just a moment. All right, you'll notice all six tuners were found successfully. If you're using an Ethernet device or a USB tuner, it'll show four tuners or however many tuners you have installed. Go ahead and select Yes and click Next to move forward. Activate your cable card. You want, we're going to go ahead and select Yes, set up Media Center for use with a cable card. Click Next. Activate your cable card. You'll need to call your cable company at this point and activate your cable card. 
We're going to can click next to move forward. The screen here will give you your cable card ID, host ID, and data ID. However, the phone number is incorrect, so please ignore that. You're going to want to use the documentation that we included with your device. It's a cable card activation support, which can also be found on our website. It includes phone numbers for the major cable providers and their cable card phone, uh, um, phone numbers. Uh, if your cable company is not listed here, you will need to call our local office. Go ahead and click Next to move on. Signal provider, we're currently using Frontier Fios in Seattle, so we're going to select that and click Next to move forward. TV signal configuration, go ahead and click Next to confirm. It's going to download the TV program guide data from Microsoft. This will take just a moment. All right, set up, finished successfully. Go ahead and click finish. You'll notice things have changed. We're going to go ahead and click guide now. And we're going to go ahead and select ABC News now to make sure everything's working. This can Take a few seconds once uh, once everything is set up. And we tune successfully. Congratulations, you've set up the Infinity TV with Windows Media Center. We thank you very much for purchasing the Infinity TV. If at any time you ran into problems, please open a support ticket. We'd be more happy to help you.